mosaic but in a different style i wanted to make it a bit easy uh, and we are going to do some negative painting on the mosaic today so it's an easy way even kids can follow it i have taken a very simple drawing here we haven't taken anything uh, complicated so what we are going to do we are going to paint this elephant and then in negative we are going to draw that mosaic so i'm going to use a uh, very few simple shades uh, for background i'm going to use a bit of um, light yellow for the background i'm going to use a bit of orange here and for the uh, elephant's body i'm going to use some prussian blue also i'm going to paint it its eyes in a very bright cerulean blue and for the body i'm going to use a light wash of uh, prussian blue i'm going to leave the um, whites of the eyes and the nails as is i'm not going to paint them for the body we will use variation of uh, prussian blue maybe a little bit dark and bit of light we are not going to use too much colors here so first what we will do i'm going to paint the background first um, i am going to paint it with a, a flat brush of uh, three by four inches this is the brush i'm going to use for the background and for the big parts of the elephant i'm going to use a number six brush and for drawing the final mosaic uh, parts i'm going to use a number two brush so this is a, a new technique we are not going to paint in parts we are first going to block all the colors and then in negative space we are going to draw the mosaic or the impression of mosaic with black color i'm going to speed it up here because i want to wrap up this video under 10 minutes so i'm going to paint a wet on dry wash on the background area I have mixed a little bit of red um, in the Prussian blue. So I have mixed uh, a bit of uh, more red uh, in Prussian blue, permanent red. I've got this light purple color. I'm going to use this color uh, for the inside of the ears here this part i'm going to use this color i mix little bit more red to it so that it becomes a bright purple i'm going to use a light wash of this on the inner ear Now we need to give it some time to dry and then we'll come back and paint the body part. So while this part has dried, I'm going to paint the body now. we want everything to completely dry now before before trying anything else so this has dried up completely the next step is we'll work inside to out or we are going to put very thin outlines here for each of the part So what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to 
achieve it I'm going to paint randomly black here so instead of painting in pieces we have first painted the blocks of color and then we are and then we are painting on top of it so you don't need to think now you can just randomly paint your black outlines it's very easy to do even if you do not have a very good brush control you can do it if you want to paint in actual mosaic you can see uh, the link right now on the screen I have painted some other mosaics with white as a background you can take some reference from there you can try to paint those as well so I'm going to speed it up here I'm not going to do anything for now um, uh, apart from drawing these lines so I'm quickly going to draw these and I'm going to speed it up and then we'll come back once we start on the background So we are done with the with the elephant for the background what we are going to do is um, we will be um, drawing some straight lines and we will be uh, putting the uh, background in a in a box kind of way so i'll draw a few lines and then i'll speed it up So it is okay if it is okay if it is not perfect lines or perfect rectangles because when we do mosaic the lines could be in a, the pieces could be different from one another right we cannot get exactly same pieces Just to do some variation, we'll keep this uh, length of the lines varying. We'll keep, we'll vary them a bit. So <clears throat> I'm going to zoom up and then I'm going to speed up a little bit and I'm going to fill the whole uh, background in a similar way. Um, it may not look like a finished piece because I haven't really spent too much time on the on the lines here so I'm just going to give a, a wash to the boundary here so we are done here um, uh, this is how we can paint our mosaic if we do not want to uh, paint individually all the pieces. You can also do this with white acrylic ink or you can if you want to use some bright colors. You can also use uh, black uh, for your uh, lines and uh, the outlines to show the broken pieces. I have just taken a simple example. Uh, you can attempt this with a more complicated subject also. Um, I think this is it for today. Uh, any other questions you have related to mosaic, you can go to my other video where uh, we have discussed five tips. 
uh, how you can paint better mosaics and uh, this is definitely a new technique you can try on you can use a white liner or a white acrylic ink to do the same uh, or you can use a black acrylic ink you can also paint this mosaic in altogether a different medium you can also use some glass colors on a glass or a plastic sheet to uh, make this kind of uh, work so if you try it and then uh, if you like it then please post the link in the comments of your artwork um, also if you have any questions please post it in the comments and if you want to see similar videos uh, subscribe to this channel we have uh, uh, other watercolor tutorials and uh, speed paintings i think this is it for today um, thank you and uh, see you next time again bye bye